Yo, what's up my empathic ninjas and warriors? This is your boy JC Desmond. Welcome to Love Over Narcissism. And today, I'm going to be reading a question uh, that was uh, asked on Cora Digest. For all that don't know, Cora Digest has uh, literally thousands of people who ask questions about narcissistic personality disorder. And a good majority of those questions are answered by diagnosed narcissists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a question and I'm going to read the answer that has been answered by a diagnosed NPD uh, by the name of Kevin Dyson. And the question asks, does a narcissist believe that his new supply is his true love? Now this, I'm just going to go out and say that this applies to both male and female because the male and female narcissists they pretty much do the same patterns, you know, but obviously in different ways, you know, where m male narcissists use fear and course of control. Female narcissists use manipulation and, and, and uh, sexuality in order to get their sources of supply. But I'm going to read the question and the answer. So the question is, I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Does a narcissist believe that his new supply is his true love? Kevin Dyson writes... I was diagnosed with NPD last year and am now in my 30s, have been in and out of therapy since my late teens and also had the opportunity to have quite a few girlfriends, which of course means, quote, I couldn't have any real grown up relationships to save my life, end quote. Sometimes it worked out for a while though, years even at a time, though most of my relationships usually topped out at about three months. I could never understand it. Figured it must be jinxed or something. Not that I'm superstitious, it's just that my life has been a lot like taking a stroll through increasingly fresher landmines with a blindfold on. I can confidently tell you that I always wanted them to be my true love. Though I can also say I'm becoming convinced that I, can, that I have never known such a thing. Probably never realistically will and have reluctantly accepted the harsh reality that I have never really been a very affectionate person either. Usually too wound up in my head, caught up in my defenses. Also, kind of not really my favorite part about getting into a relationship. Not like it originally was, for sure. In fact, my proper favorite part about getting into a relationship has always been, well, getting into a relationship. So if I had a shtick, it would definitely be called Captain Introduction. Or just introduction no i'd be the man of a million acquaintances made as this disorder is all pervasive always saying pleased to meet you a pleasure indeed and of course it's all mine happy smile happy glad hand happy glad and very very incredibly sad walking home in the rain without an umbrella that's what I look like after I've fallen in love. I look completely pitiful, contemptuous, unforgettably disconsolate while navigating the desolate wastelands without being contemplated by the beauty of your magnificent face. Right here, when I snap my fucking fingers, food's not gonna make itself after all. Can't go to all these awesome places naked. Also, just go ahead and do everything else while you're at it, but only if it actually needs to be done. I'm serious. My true love is a face that appears on a tiny black and white TV screen. Some constantly shifting memory of a stupid idea that I had as a kid. But I have searched everywhere in real life for her. Took a glance at everyone on the internet too. Eavesdropped on all manner of conversation in passing. Nearly missed my stop because my head was jammed so deep in the clouds as I imagined the moment I'd finally held her in my arms and was able to treat her like the queen she is. No, spoil her with all the riches of my undying love, like a goddess. Reality check. It all boils down to the fact that I'm a narcissist, and it's not if, but when, I will inevitably hurt you. And I'm not some villain either. No, not hardly. I'm actually a very nice guy. Polite, courteous, considerate. Don't believe me? Ask literally any old lady in the world you won't even have to mention my name just tell them i was the charming young man who appeared like an angel to express a misguided sense of urgency and do some ridiculous shit they obviously took for granted and then didn't even offer to tip me for it's exactly like that exactly 
Literally every old lady loves me. Bonafide gentleman, sir, or ma'am. About all this true love business, though, you'll be satisfied to know that each potential candidate has undergone a thorough examination process that was conducted in accordance with all the applicable blah, blah, blahs. And then charts got hummed at, boxes got checked, notes got jotted down on the wall with my head. And then he has a, a picture that says, I hate my life with him smashing his head against the wall. And on the bottom below the, the picture that he has, it says, does a narcissist believe that his? No. So basically, as he goes on to ask the question, it gets cut off by basically someone else saying no. So uh, there goes your answer. So guys, let me know what you guys think of this. Um, I'll be doing this from time to time, reading questions and answers uh, on Core Digest uh, by uh, narcissists, people who have been diagnosed with MPD, just to kind of get your, uh, what your thoughts on this whole thing is. Uh, you know, I like to read um, answers by narcissists because it kind of gives you a, a deep look into how they think. Um, so let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Um, always remember to love and respect yourself. And I will talk to you guys soon. See you guys in the next episode. LON, baby.